Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of um, Aquarius for the month of March uh, 2022. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, although I am reading for uh, March, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video, whether that's March, April, May. It's whenever you're drawn to the video is when you are meant to hear its message. So let's begin. Now, um, first of all, I do have a couple here. Um, I have a couple and they're both in the upright. They're both facing each other, but um, both are looking down at the cups. Now, um, so that's good. It's good. Um, and we will come back to that. So let's begin. The Magician. He was the first card out in your reading. And this can be a card of somebody who's being secretive. Um, this can speak to something very intense. Um, it could be um, that you are feeling uh, very much like a victim. It could be that um, you might want to bring something back to life. Or it could be that uh, something uh, is haunting you. It could be that the past is coming back to haunt you. Or that it is haunting you. Now, I feel that it is haunting you, and it is coming with the Squire of Shields. I feel that you might feel like a victim. Um, this is somebody who, uh, for all appearances, it all seems good on the, peer, uh, on the, on the surface, but typically there is bad intentions behind it or, you know, uh, he has bad intentions, but he's very believable and he's very persuasive. And I feel like you feel that, um, that that is what happened between you and this other person because the devil is here. Um, so you may feel like this person has taken advantage of you. You might feel like, oh, the truth has come out. Um, but this is your feeling. Okay, so because of something that happened, um, you feel that you, something has come out of the dark and that you know the truth. Now, it could be that something did come out of the dark, but you may not have all of the truth. You're both in the upright. And even though the devil is here behind him, and I feel that he did do something uh, with bad intentions, I feel that it's like the energy shifted. So although it started off that he did not have good intentions, and I feel like this actually is about a relationship of convenience where you might have taken advantage, uh, where he might have taken advantage of you. You might have found out he was married or that he was dating others. Um, and... Um, this could be what brought it to an end was this third party uh, energy or this deception but this person developed feelings for you even though or the original plan was it was just to be something short term you know um they give to get something back that's what uh that's what the squire does and that's what this four of a wisdom. It's being nice to get something, really. There he is again, you see. That was the original intention. There you go. Six of wisdom. Yep. And, uh, but of course, there were consequences for that because what happened was he had no intention of developing these feelings. He didn't know it was going to go this way, but he did. But it happened. And now he's paying the consequences of the original intention so the tower has fallen the truth has come out or p 
part of the truth or the original truth, I suppose you could say. But now this person has developed feelings for you and is in love with you, I feel, and is longing for you. There is a desire for your cup. You have a dif difficult decision to make because you're looking back at something that has been done. I feel like, you see, this is his story, but on your side, you're seeing him quite differently. You're seeing him as the bad one because he was originally, <laughs> he did originally have bad intentions. But what you don't see is that he did, in fact, fall in love with you. You may not believe him now because of the original uh, intention you know, but um, he does love you. And um, I feel like you're grieving over this loss. Um, I feel like you, I feel like you also long for him. The, and in these two uh, cards, you feel that you both want each other. And I saw that right away from here because Although you, you kind of face each other, but you're looking down at the cups. You're not looking across at each other. So both, you know, he's looking down at his feelings. And he's like, oh my God, you know, and she's looking down uh, and, you know, she's feeling, well, there's something, something just doesn't sit right here. Um, so she's thinking the worst of him and not that he doesn't deserve it because he does because he had bad intentions. But ultimately, he ends up falling in love with her. So, you know, the world of truth. She wants closure for, for this because uh, she feels like a victim. So, although right now, um, right now, right now they're not, they're not talking. She wants closure. Um, she wants she's looking back at the journey she wants to take control because yeah because she's feeling bitter she's feeling resentful um what has happened it just keeps haunting her something she something feels off about this whole thing so she's feeling intuitively that something's not right something's not right about this person about what they were telling her about maybe what has happened because she has the ability to pick up on feelings. So she would be feeling really confused, I, I, I would think. Um, I feel like it, it's like a deepening confusion. Because uh, she's so good at picking up on feelings, you know, uh, on emotions. And she would have believed, truly believed, this person loved her. And uh, so she would have been uh, rather shocked uh, by what happened. Um, like in the beginning, she may not even have known that he was married, uh, you know, because I don't think she would have jumped in had she known. So this, I mean, what tore them apart could be that she found out he was married or that she found out that he was with someone. And that maybe he was seeing her on the side, you know. Seeking answers. She wants answers. She, she needs to close this so that she can, uh, you know, set herself free from uh, the both mental and emotional turmoil she's feeling right now. She's bitter, resentful. And she's hoping that getting these answers will, will help 
um, help her to move past this this pain that just keeps following her. Um, it seems like a, it's a mystery and everything's uncertain. She's feeling um, a lot of insecurities, feeling very insecure. See, this person is always, always in her thoughts. I, I feel that goes both ways. Card of Deliverance. Um, so she she fears with the mother and this and the card of deliver, deliverance and everything else I'm seeing. She fears um, that there'll be no going back or that there's like no way to fix this um, because he's already in a commitment more than likely. Um, so, and here we really see how much she loves him. Okay. How deep it is, very deep. And um, she wants answers. Yeah, see, um, she's thinking, she's in this pause and reflect. So she's in the pause and reflect and she's seeking answers. Um, she's seeking answers to set herself free. Like I said, that's exactly what this card is, to set herself free, to get a... Um, a better view uh, of what of of what just happened or what what has happened. She's thinking of confronting him, of reaching out, of trying to get these answers. But is that the right move? Should she make that move, um, or should she just try to put it behind her? That's where this is where her mind is. Or should she just you know never mind, leave it alone, and uh, try to move away? But she's you know it's but it's like I I, I tried that, but. It's like she keeps looking back. She keeps looking back. She doesn't understand it. She doesn't understand what happened because, like I said, it goes back to the feelings. Could she have been so wrong? This is what she's wondering. Could she have been so wrong? Well, she's about to find out that she wasn't wrong. She's about to find out that this person does have feelings for her. Yes, maybe he, it didn't, it didn't begin that way. That was not his intention. It wasn't his intention to fall in love with her, but he did. And that, that changes everything. They can't get her off their mind either so it's like back it's like you know it's the same for both of them and um out of the blue i'm telling you <laughs> out of the blue something somebody's just going to pick up the phone or hit send on a message um and make that call send that message yep i feel that this oh <laughs> this is happening real fast look at that we have three people and um this is unexpected news or messages this is also the unexpected and here you have it. This can indicate a very fast moving energy, the both of these. And here you go, a new offer, uh, an apology, and a new beginning. Wow, wow, wow. Knight of Cups, Ace of Coins. I have the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups, so I really think that this person uh, actually really does want a commitment with you. So um, that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, 
for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Um, also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.